loser Yahoo shareholders who recently had to endure insult to injury when they found out that just four months ago, the board decided to effectively give their failed CEO another $145 million in additional compensation. It may not sound like it, but this is ground zero for income inequality. Yahoo is 950 million shares outstanding. That's 15 cents in value for every share of stock. Let's just look at one shareholder, the College Retirement Equities Fund stock account, which holds almost 4 million shares. They had to pony up an additional $565,000 to Ms. Mayer, who's made such incredible decisions, including buying a porn site for $1.1 billion, i.e. Tumblr, or paying one of her friends she brought over from Google $110 million in severance after he did not work out after 14 months. Income inequality doesn't come at you with a hockey mask and a chainsaw. In this instance, it's from Wisconsin and wearing an Oscar de la Renta sweater. Boom! Boom! Gun shows in town. Oh my God. All right. The continued winner, Facebook. Last week, Facebook became the most valuable company in the world. The markets just don't realize it yet. In 2010, we said it would be the most valuable company in the world within three years. We were a little bit early. However, it was trading in the private markets at a valuation of $10 billion, and now it's about 360 so directionally we were correct. While Google still controls a third of the $190 billion global digital ad market, Facebook's share has risen to 12%. Facebook has turned their attention to video. Mark Zuckerberg has said they are all about video. Last time they pivoted, it was to mobile, and they went from a standing start to 84% of revenues from mobile in just three years. What amazing things can we expect from video and Facebook? Likely losers, YouTube and TV. As Twitter enters its eighth straight period of declining revenue growth, the stagnant social media platform has turned to live streaming, inking deals with the NFL, MLB, and NHL, as well as both political conventions. However, Twitter has been notably absent reporting on the conventions. Meanwhile, YouTube racked up 9 million live views and ABC News claimed 28 million from its Facebook Live account. If this downward trajectory continues, Twitter could register flat growth by the middle of 17. We said two years ago, when the stock was at 44 bucks, this is a $10 stock and believe it will go sub $10 by the end of the year. Jack Dorsey, I apologize I've been so hard on you. I know what it's like to be a CEO under a lot of stress. Anytime, open invitations. I'll use Kiehl's Nourishing Beard Grooming Oil on your beard, and then we'll move to the La Mer. Enough said. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.